Howdy folks, it's Howie here, Howie Cat. We're gonna look at Mickey and Friends, Goofy at Bat. And she's teasing, uh, Goof, Donald is trying to teach Goofy, it looks like, we got Pluto, and I guess we're gonna have a little baseball story. I do like my Mickey Mouse stories, those are fun. So we got, oh, it's book three, whatever, I don't know the order of these things. So, baseball tryouts. Baseball tryouts. Try out for the baseball team. Goofy looked around. Gosh, he said. The baseball team was looking for new members. Goofy had never played baseball, but he was sure he could learn. Goofy decided to sign up. Then he went to find his friends. Maybe they could teach him about baseball. Goofy's friends were all excited, all except Donald. He was too impatient to teach anything to Goofy. Come on, Donald, Mickey said. It'll be fun. And then Goofy had an idea. Donald could be his coach. Donald <laughs> said, but he agreed to help. Yeah, I do good at Mickey and Donald, huh? No, I don't. But whatever. First, Goofy had to learn how to hold the bat. He said, I think I got it. Donald looked at Goofy. He was holding the bat upside down. Donald shook his head. Like this, he said and demonstrated. Goofy fixed the bat and practiced his swing. Soon he was ready to swing for real. Mickey stepped up to the mound. Picking up a baseball, he pitched it to Goofy. Goofy swung and missed. Mickey tried again. Goofy missed. Again. Hmm. Thought Mickey. Maybe I should try something else. Mickey wound up and threw his best curveball. Goofy tried to hit it, but the ball curved so much that Goofy ended up in a big knot. Look at him. He's all knotted up. Why would you throw a curveball if you couldn't hit it? Anyways. Oh, looks like... Goofy's having problems there. Donald tried to teach Goofy how to bunt. Maybe then he could hit the ball. But Mickey threw a slow ball and it moved so slow that Goofy fell asleep. Mickey wound up again and stood up straight. He was not going to let the ball pass by. Goofy stood up straight. He was not going to let the ball pass by him again. Crack! Goofy hit the ball. It soared through the air, and Goofy took off running toward first base. As Goofy rounded second base, Donald shouted, Hurry up! I can't do a Donald. <laughs> hurry up, Donald! Run! Or, hurry up, Goofy! Run home! But Goofy did not understand. He turned toward home plate and began to run right across the field. Fooey! Donald shouted. Goofy, you have to run to third base first. I think I see where this is going. Maybe we should try fielding, Minnie suggested. Donald gave Goofy a mitt and sent him into the field. Minnie stepped up to bat. Crack! Minnie hit the ball deep into the outfield. Goofy chased after the ball, raising his mitt. He jumped into the air and caught the ball in his cleats. Well, okay. That, that did happen there, see it? Right in his cleats. Donald could hardly believe his eyes. Goofy was amazing. In his hat, off the board, through the wall. Goofy could catch anything. He even caught it in a bubble. Goofy, Donald cried. You're going to be a star. Garsh, said Goofy. I couldn't have done it without you. Donald, your help brought me good luck. You should try out for the team with me. Donald thought about it, then he smiled. Yes, he would try out. After all, baseball was more fun with friends. 
that was a cute one. I like I like baseball. I like those guys. So we had a fun fun. I had a fun time. Did you have a fun? I had a fun time. All right. See y'all in the next story. Bye bye.